This short film will explain what to expect when you have a bronchoscopy or EBUS test at the Royal Berkshire Hospital. This is an example of what will happen but may vary from person to person. A bronchoscopy is an examination of your airways using a thin, flexible camera. EBUS stands for Endobronchial Ultrasound and this test is similar to a bronchoscopy but also uses ultrasound to help collect samples of tissue from your chest. The people in this film are mainly staff but the patient is played by a volunteer who does not wear an identification wristband. All patients who have these procedures will wear an identification band throughout their visit. The endoscopy department at the Royal Berkshire Hospital is on Craven Road and the entrance is just past the maternity block, up a ramp near a large chimney. There are free drop-off and pick-up spaces outside the entrance and the nearest parking is in the multi-storey car park further down Craven Road. When you arrive at endoscopy, you will be welcomed by the reception staff who will check your details such as your name, address and date of birth. You and your relative or friend will then be asked to wait in the reception area. A nurse will come and find you and take you through to the clinic to be prepared for the procedure. The nurse will ask you to change out of your clothes into a hospital gown. This fastens with ties at the back. You may keep your underwear and lower clothes on. Long hair should be tied back. It is a good idea to use the toilet now before the procedure starts, as often the tests will make you cough, and people who have a weak bladder or incontinence may wish to wear a pad for comfort and protection. You will be shown to a quiet room to wait for your procedure. Your friend or relative can stay with you and look after your belongings. The nurse will then take you to a clinic room where she will check your pulse, blood pressure and oxygen levels before explaining what will happen to you during the procedure. She will ask about any regular medication and allergies and you will have your identification wristband put on at this point. Your doctor will then come to see you. He or she will explain the benefits and risks of the procedure and answer any questions you may have. You will then be asked to sign a consent form to allow the procedure to go ahead. The doctor will put a small cannula via a needle into a vein in the back of your hand. This is used to give the sedative drugs to help you feel relaxed and sleepy during the test, but it will not put you to sleep. Your relative or friend will then be asked to leave the room and go to wait in the reception area, or they can return a few hours later to collect you. You can then walk to the clinic room where the test takes place. You will be asked to lie on a trolley, usually in an upright position. The nurse will put a blood pressure cuff on your arm and a probe on your finger, like a peg, to check your oxygen levels. The nurse will also put some sticky patches onto your chest. This is to monitor your heart rate. This is routine to ensure that your body is coping with the test. This room has a lot of medical equipment and monitor screens which are used to look after you during the test. The doctor and nurses in the room will wear plastic aprons and gloves and may wear goggles to protect their eyes during the test. Your comfort and privacy and dignity will be considered at all times. Someone will be with you all of the time and will explain what is happening and be there to answer any questions you may have. In order to do the test, the doctor needs to make your nose, throat and air passages numb. This is done with special liquids and gels. It may feel strange and will make you cough, but this is normal. First, the doctor will spray some liquid onto the back of your throat, which may taste of banana. Then some strong anaesthetic gel will be squirted up your nose. The doctor needs you to sniff strongly and deeply in order to get the gel to reach the back of your throat. The doctor then gives you some medication into the cannula in your hand to make you feel sleepy. 
This may take a few minutes. You may need some extra oxygen during the test. This will be given via a tube placed in your nose. It is not painful. When you are feeling relaxed, the doctor can then start the test by passing the flexible bronchoscope tube up your nose and down into your airways. The medication ensures that this is not painful, although it may feel strange and will make you cough and may give you a sore throat afterwards. You are unlikely to remember this afterwards due to the sedation you were given. When the procedure is finished, you will be wheeled back on the trolley to the recovery room. The nurses will continue to check your pulse and blood pressure and you may still have the oxygen mask over your face. You will start to feel more awake. You may continue to cough and may even cough up a little blood. This is normal and nothing to worry about. After one or two hours, you can get dressed and will be able to walk to a quiet sitting room where your relative or friend can rejoin you. You will be allowed something to drink and can now take any tablets that you may have missed that morning. The doctor or nurse will meet with you to explain how the test went and explain when your results will be ready. This can be up to 10 to 14 days after your test. You will be given an information leaflet about what to do at home, especially if there are any problems. Your relative should take you home and stay with you, especially if you are feeling unwell or are elderly. Please do not drive immediately after your test. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please ask the nurse or doctor looking after you.